everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Quest. The Quest? Yes, The Quest. The Quest is simply the read broadcast of the MZR AIF International Christian Film Festival. I tell us for the past three years, it's been back to back glorious it's been great it's been superb it's it's been excellent it's been uh, amazing what other words do we have to quantify what the lord has been doing uh, with the mziif icf this is a global event and uh, it's it's been wonderful so far so this episode is just to take us back the memory lane of how glorious it has been. And not only that, it is also to prep us, to prepare us for what is going to come. Yes, at this year's fourth Mount Zion Institute Alumni International Fellowship International Christian Film Festival taking place from October 15 to 19, 2024. I'm not going to go through all the details, but right now I just want you to sit back, relax, and let's just go down the memory lane. Um, even as we watch the previous events and those wonderful things. I cannot begin. Is it the movie premieres? Is it the awards? You know, is it the impact messages uh, or workshops so many great fantastic things that are taking place um in the mzii high cff don't go away <laughs> good afternoon here from the netherlands uh thank you for having me uh i think it's such a nice thing that we are together as Christians from all over the world that world that make Christian movies. Um, I understood there are people online from 68 different countries. What a blessing that in so many countries people are thinking about what can we do with our faith-based movies. Um, my prayer is that this festival will be a blessing for us all that we will have new learnings, that we will have new energy uh, and that God will lead us for through um, different ways of getting our movie out there. Because that's what I'd like to talk with you about today. Uh, and especially having your movie out there online. So the subject of this seminar will be the digital distribution of kingdom filmmakers. So how are you going to bring your movie out there on the, in a digital way? Uh, my name is uh, Magiel Kopier. Um, I'm 27 years old. I'm married with a beautiful wife for four years now. We have a little son, he's almost two. Uh, and I'm working for an SVOD faith-based platform. It's called New Faith Network. I'm in media now for nine years. I first worked for a broadcaster, but for the last six years, I'm working as a platform manager for New Faith Network. First, I want to tell you a little bit about digital streaming, because I think you can divide digital streaming into three different categories. The first one is default. Default is that people pay for your movie to watch it once or twice or just for 24 hours. I think this is really powerful and the big upside is that you have quite, there is coming quite some income from one customer that is watching your movie. There is a big downside. It's quite hard to convince a customer to pay for your movie directly. Of course, you can try it with a good trailer, good artwork, but it is quite hard and I think this window is mostly suitable for high value movies. And that's what I mean with movies that had a cinema window, um, that had an, a cast that people can recognize. However, for a movie maker that made a movie that's mostly suitable for online, or for a broadcaster, it's quite hard to have your movie on a default channel. I only know one faith-based default channel, that's Christian Cinema, um, that's based in the US, 
Uh, I know you can try to have your movie on there, you can submit your movie. Um, but I think it's really hard to really get money out of it. But please try to have your movie on there. Then the next thing is SVOD. I think you can call it the Netflix model. People are paying a certain amount of money each month and they can watch whatever they want on the platform whenever they want. There are quite some faith-based SVOD channels popping up. Um, I'm working for one that's New Faith Network. Uh, I know in the US there is a big one that's Pureflix. There are a lot of small ones in the US as well. Um, I think this can be the future of having your faith-based movie out there online. But you cannot gamble on one service because the fees an SVOD channel can pay you are not that high. Uh, the reason for this is they need a lot of content to keep their customers on their service. That's of course the game they are playing. I'm playing with New Faith Network. We need to make sure people do not unsubscribe at the end of the month because then we lose our income. So for that reason we need a lot of content and for that reason the fees are not that high. However, if you have your movies, your movie on a lot of different SVOD platforms, perhaps also on a TFOD channel, in that way, together, you can get quite something. So I don't think you need to, you need to gamble on just one platform. You need to make sure your movie is out there on more different platforms. Then the third option for digital distribution is AFOD. AFOD is with advertisements. Uh, there are quite some big players out there. The most important one and the most famous one, of course, is YouTube. Um, you also have Tubi, you have Roku. Um, those platforms are free to watch for everyone. The only th the thing that they ask from a customer is watching the advertisements in front or during the movie. Um, those platforms are most of the time quite easy to get your movie on. However, I think when your movie is on an AFOD channel, it's quite hard to get it out there on an SVOD channel anymore. Because for an SVOD channel, it's quite important that the content that's on there is exclusive. At least if, if people can watch the movie for free anywhere else as well, why will they pay for the SVOD channel? That's the big question. So I think as a filmmaker, you need to see those three different options also in this order. So first see, can I have my movie on a default channel? Is my movie suitable for a default channel? The second question is, can I get my movie on an SVOD channel? And if I can, can get it on an SVOD channel, uh, is my movie suitable for an SVOD channel? I think most of the movies are suitable for, SV for an SVOD channel. Uh, and then the last window, in my opinion, is the AFOD channel. So I think that's the order you need to have your movie out there. Action. You have to start the post program. All right. You are invited to the MZIEIF. That's the International Christian Film Festival taking place from October 15th to October 19th. 2024. Here's what awaits you. Dive into daily victory entertainment sessions where fun and laughter abounds. Immerse yourself in 12 workshops led by seasoned experts covering various aspects of filmmaking, digital content, and more. Experience soul stirring praise and worship sessions featuring talented artists. Participate in these life-changing seminars and spiritual messages and explore the faith and family film interchange. That's the F3 interchange with industry experts. Enjoy global film screenings and witness the celebration of Christian filmmakers worldwide in the Global Award Ceremony. Don't miss out on this incredible faith-based film festival. Now register for free at www.mziaiffilmfestival.com. Join us for an unforgettable journey into the world of Christian filmmaking and storytelling. See you there. God bless you. I think to have your movie out there online, you need three things. My experience is that most people stop 
after pr the most people that make a movie stop after making the movie. So they make a beautiful movie with a powerful message, but that's it. That's not enough. For online, the artwork, for example, is just as important as the movie itself. Because a customer or someone that for a person that can the movie can be really suitable or really can the message is for, for uh, of a big value for them they are scrolling to an SVD platform or through YouTube or whatsoever then the picture is a big part of their decision am I going to watch this movie or am I not going to watch this movie my experience is if people pitch their movie to me they just pitch a movie they don't have artwork or they made artwork in a few hours they, they, but that's not how you need to do it you most of the time you have put months and months of work in your movie please put a big effort in your artwork then as well because the the the, the how many people will find your movie the, in that question the artwork is the most important and of course a good trailer and a trailer is not a summar summary of the movie a trailer is something that makes people watch the movie so you need to grab someone's attention and make him enthusiastic about the movie he need to think oh i need to watch this i need to know what will happen now I want to tell you a little bit more about our SVOD pl platform, New Fate Network. We started in December 2017 in just the Netherlands. In the Netherlands we have a really small group of Christians, around 1.2 million active Christians. But we found out there is quite a need in this small group to have a place where they can see faith-based movies. So in the mainstream secular media in the Netherlands, there is no place anymore for faith-based programming, faith-based movies, faith-based series. So for this small group of Christians, it was really important that they had a place where they, where they could find those faith-based movies. So when we started, uh, people were, were really happy with our product and they were really happy that something like this was there. But for us it was also important that the, this, this 1.2 million active Christians knew there was something like a Christian, a faith-based SVOD platform. So I think next to a platform with beautiful movies, with a powerful message, for a good faith-based SVOD platform you also need good marketing. So we needed to find different ways to have our message about the platform out there. And then the third thing you need for a powerful and good working SVOD platform is good techniques. What I mean with this is we needed to build apps for, uh, for on TV. We needed to build apps for on your phone. We needed to make it really easy to visit our platform. When we started our platform was only visible if you were on your browser uh, searching on the website. Right now we have it out there if you open your Apple TV or if you open your uh, other way of smart TV. Uh, if you watch on your phone and you download the app, we are out there. That makes a real difference and we build it ourselves. So we, we didn't want to be uh, working for example with another big company that you need to rely on. We want to do it ourselves. That's a big uh, difference than most of the other faith-based SVOD platforms that are out there. After we started in the Netherlands, we after two years from the US, so from companies that we worked with, that we bought movies from, but also from other companies from other places in the world, we got the question, do you want to start in other countries as well? Well, we never thought about this, but of course, when, after people mentioned it, we started thinking about it. And in 2019, we, the first two extra countries that we started in were Norway and Sweden, two other small countries in Europe. 
we were quite successful, especially in Norway. And that made us thinking we need to start in more, co more countries. So in 2020, we started in the UK and Ireland. And in 2021, we started in Australia and we started in New Zealand. Right now, that makes the counting of the amount of countries where we are available at seven. Those four, in those seven countries, uh, there is a little bit of difference between the, the successfulty of the platforms. Uh, so we are most successful in Australia, in Norway and in the Netherlands where we started, of course. Uh, I think the reason for this, the success in those countries was that there is a small group of Christians, but this group is big enough to support a platform like us. Um, and then the future. So we want to start in more countries. So we want to embrace the EMEA area. So Europe, the Middle East and Africa. We are doing an outroll in those countries at this very moment. So during October, we want to be visible in all those countries. We are not going to start a platform there that is localized. For example, in Australia and in Norway, we made our own productions, also in the Netherlands. We have Dutch content in the Netherlands. We have Norwegian content in uh, Norway. We are not going to do this in all those new countries at first. We are going to start with a platform that is only English. So you will have descriptions about the movies in English, the movies will be in English or English subtitled. Um, the reason why we want to do this is we want to see whether we have traction in some countries. So especially in Europe, we expect also in countries where English is not the first language, there are enough people that do uh, their need for this kind of content is that big and they can speak English that well, they will like a service also when it is not in their own original language. Of course, if we see traction in a an, in an, in an, in an country, we can decide on having, um, we starting dubbing, subtitling in those countries as well. But not at first. So at first we will start in all those new countries just with an English speaking product. Uh, we think this is a new way of having our uh, message out there, uh, a new way of thinking. First we thought we just start in one country and we will pick another country and we will pick another country. Now we will pick all the countries at once and we will start working from there. That's a new way of thinking and we have quite some filmmakers that wants to do this with us, that really want to have their movies out there in Australia, in Australia and the Netherlands, Norway, the, the countries where we were online already, but also in the new territories. Because I think those markets, for example, Africa, but also most countries of Europe, they are really underserved with faith-based content, faith-based movies, faith-based series. But the, the message of um, Christ can be online there much, much more. This message is so, so powerful, we just need to have it out there. We need to make sure everyone can see it. That's the reason why we started this big project of having our platform out there, also in new countries. What are we doing now? We are doing a rollout over the whole of Europe, Middle East and Africa. Not with a localized product, but with a, an English speaking product. So all descriptions of the movies are in English, the movies are in English, subtitles are in English. Uh, the reason why we do this rollout is that we want to see in which countries we will have traction with this product. As soon as that we see traction in one of those countries, we, will, we can make the decision to start subtitling in the original, in the language of the country or start dubbing in the language of the country and perhaps even in the future start making, start making movies or programming in those countries. So that's the big future that we see for us and that we want to, um, to make even bigger in the future. Uh, I think our platform is one of the ways 
also for filmmakers from all over the world to have your movie out there. Um, I think the SVOD streaming is really the way that you can have, uh, as a filmmaker, an international platform. Um, the big reason why I think SVOD is much more suitable, for example, than AVOD, is that it for, for on an asphalt platform, it's much easier to find your audience. If your movie, for example, is on YouTube, it's really hard to grab someone's attention and to find the correct audience. The nice thing is everyone can watch it online for free. Of course, that's nice. But how many people at the end find your movie? How can a Christian, for example, from Germany, for example, can find your movie that you put online on YouTube? If, it on, if it's on a faith-based SVOD service, that's much easier. Because that's the place where they watch that kind of movies. So if your faith-based movie is on an SVOD faith-based platform with a faith-based audience, it's much easier to reach the correct audience. Of course, if you want to have your movie uh, online for non-Christians as well, what is of course really important as well, you need to have it on those free channels as well. But that can be your second window. So if, for example, your movie has been online on an SVOD service, you can always decide after two years, I want to have it for available for everyone as well, to have even a broader audience. I think that's the way of thinking you need to do for online. So what is my first window? Which people do I want to reach? And what is the timing I need to work with? That's something you, as, a, as a filmmaker, you need to decide on. The Mount Zion Institute Alumni International Fellowship, MZI AIF, announces her fourth official International Christian Film Festival from Oct 15th to 19th, 2024. The last three years featured exciting and impactful moments with several projects submitted from over 75 countries on average. Categories include full-length films, documentaries, short films, cartoon and animations, music videos, spoken word, audio drama, stage theatrical projects, promotional videos and film projects made originally in French, Spanish, and several other selected language for diversity engagement. Also inclusive are the Project 542 and Young Kingdom Generation Project 2024 categories, also featuring specialized workshops, engaging seminars, high impact messages, faith and family film interchange, networking, special film screenings with celebrations with your crew, global awards and celebrations and special screenings to include French and Spanish films only. Final notification shall be made on Oct 1st, 2024. For more information, email info mzisomifilmfestival.com. Come and be part of this great film festival with filmmakers from over 75 countries. Get ready for a glorious ride as we celebrate Kingdom Impact through global gospel films. Then perhaps one of the most important things. How do you, do you get your movie out there? Because of course it's really simple to just upload it on YouTube, but it is much harder to get it on an SVOD channel or even a TIFO channel. Well, first you need to do research. Just Google. Google is your best friend in this. Google what faith-based platforms are there. Where can I find broadcasters and, uh, that also have an online section? Um, you need to do something for it. Uh, I think this is perhaps just as important as making the movie. Because if you just make the movie and put it online and don't do any research of where do I, where is my audience? Where can I have it out there? The movie will never be out there. It will be only on YouTube visible by a small group of people. Um, if you do your research, I'm sure you will find contacts from all over the world. Of course, sometimes you need to work with just an info address or a customer service address of a channel. That's fine. 
The only thing you need to think about is that you need to grab the, the attention of the people reading the email as well. And you need to think those people can be busy people. So what do I need to do to make his life easy, to make the decision of getting my movie online easy? Sometimes if I get emails from all over the world with new faith-based movies, people just send a really small message, they send the, uh, the link of the movie, that's it. I do not have time to watch all those movies, so I need to make a decision. If I only get an email with a link of the movie, that decision is really hard for me. So what helps is people take and do an effort for it. They send nice artwork with it. They send a good trailer with it. That helps because it grabs my attention. If I just have to watch a trailer of, for let's say 90 seconds, then I can decide, do I want to watch the whole movie? In a way, people that do acquisition for those SVOD channels, for those default channels, they are customers as well. They also, you need to grab their, their attention as well, because if you have their attention, that is for them also a signal. Oh, they are grabbing my attention, they will grab the attention of my audience as well. So in a way, you already do you already doing what they will do with your movie to their audience i think this is a way of thinking christian filmmakers need to have they need to sell their movie of course i understand the movie and the making and the message that's really important for you and that should be the most important but please think about the distribution side and think about having your movie out there as well. Because then your movie can be such more as a blessing for so many people across the world than it can be if you keep your movie for yourself or for a really small group of people. Uh, please make sure you get your movie out there. Uh, well, of course, I'm managing the acquisition of an SVOD channel myself. Uh, so in the, in the, on this slide you will find my email address. Please send me an email and please try to do it at the best way possible. So please put good artwork in the email. Please good, put a good trailer in the email. Please grab my attention and make sure you make me enthusiastic about your movie and make me so enthusiastic that I will say to you, I want to have your movie online. I want to have this movie out there. That's the way you need to think and that's the way we, we need to try to help each other. I think if this will, this will be the way of thinking, we will have so much movies from all over the world out there for everyone. That's what I'm hoping for, that's what I'm praying for. Thank you for having me. Uh, if you have questions, please reach out on my email. Uh, I'm always open to, um, for emails, for questions. Um, I really like to think with you and if you have suggestions for us, also please let us know. Thank you and I really hope this festival will be a blessing for us all. Thank you. Welcome back. I told you it's been great. It's been glorious. How was today's episode? Uh, you your guess is as good as mine. It was great. It was great. So start preparing. You would have seen details on the promos. Uh, so I would not go through that details. But start preparing because the fourth international Christian MZIA Health ICFA is on the way and it's going to be massive. It's going to be explosive. It's going to be far beyond what we have experienced in the past three years. So if the past three years have been so great, you can imagine how this year would be. So I want you also to get your phones and send a message, share the flyers, share the videos, the promos, and be part of what God is doing at the fourth MZII High CFA. Thank you very much. God bless you.